you doing today? I'm your host, Rich, and we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest, John McMullen, the CEO of Screen Pro Security. How are you doing today, John? Doing really well, Rich. Thanks for having me on today. Pleasure to be here. Hey, my pleasure. Super exciting. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Screen Pro Security? Sure. I was actually looking for a new opportunity in the, in the world of uh, the public markets and something that we could take public. Over a year ago, I started working with the company in a private, as a private, private corporation. And with that, we started doing things such as starting labs, building teams and the such. And when I looked at it, I said to myself, the thesis is, this is going to be a real revenue generation company. And that's what we're doing. So we've been building up our revenue run rate ever since last year. And that's why recently we announced a $5 million run rate for the month of February, because that's where we are today. And I believe that we're going to continue that run rate for the entire year because we're basing our business on these contracts that we have, which are long-term contracts for film and television for, for testing and screening for the coronavirus. And that's huge. I have a lot of friends here in Vancouver that are in the film and television business and actually talk to them about what you guys are doing. And they're like, yeah, we're, we're doing screenings like every day, every week, like it's yep. constant. So it's a great business model. Really like what you guys are doing. Now, Screen Thank Pro you. just went public like we mentioned, just about a week ago now. And right out of the gate, you guys have announced $5 million in revenue, which you just touched on for the month of February. Huge revenues for a stock right now sitting at $0.10. Cents. It's unbelievable. Can you tell us how Screen Pro has built the revenue so fast and what the projections are for 2021? Sure. Let's go back to the beginning. We started with our labs. Our labs, our first lab actually in Vancouver was actually started at 800 square feet. That's the, the labs are key. These are diagnostic labs that can test for anything, but today they're testing for the coronavirus. And our lab in Vancouver was 800 square feet, started at 500 tests a day. And with our, with Screen Pro's materials, with our PCR machines and everything else that we insert into the lab, that lab today is now 2,800 square feet and growing. And we have the ability to add in more machines into that area, into that lab, to add in more people with our partners and actually expand it. And I will say that a number of other companies in the screening processing world has actually approached that lab, wanting to work with them. And they said, no, no, we're working with Screen Pro. They're our partners and we are partners with them and we support them. Then we add into what we've done now because our clients are film and television. And they once they believed in what we could do, we can show them the consistent reporting, the deliveries, the actually finding positive test cases, delivering them to them, all the information within a 24 hour next day time period, which is critical for a film industry. I'm sure you talk to your friends. Working on a film set, you have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And because they have to screen, they got to make sure that everyone on that set, from the key grips to the food truck people, to the actors, to the background actors, that they are safe to work. An actor isn't an actor unless they are working. And that's what we're doing with Screen Pro. We're getting people to work. So now those film companies, major ones, that when you're sitting at night watching your streaming services, know that Screen Pro helped get that program to the television for you. Now we have another lab in Ontario, in Guelph, Ontario. And we're mimicking, we can take the carbon copy of what we did in Vancouver and rebuild it in Ontario and make a lab that's actually going to be building very quickly. It started day one with 500 tests a week. Now it's 4,000 tests a week and building rapidly. And we'll be able to modulate that and actually, and they have materials there in boxes ready to fire up when we are asked to do more, we're ready to be there. That's great. Now, obviously, it's a very competitive marketplace right now for COVID-19 testing. What sets Screen Pro apart from their competitors? I think one thing that is really interesting in talking with other competitors out there, and I have met with some of them, some of them that you've actually had on the show, and I, and I, well, and I actually applaud their successes to date in the market because this is a global pandemic. But what separates us from them? A, we talked about the labs. These are our labs. Other suppliers are actually using third-party labs, such as, you know, there are other ones using Life Lab. So they're having to get into the queue for a 36 to 72 hour turnaround. Our labs enable us to do 24 hour turnaround. That's a big differentiator for us. The other thing too, is that we have our own nursing staff. We have actually hired frontline workers, men and women who are absolutely passionate to work with us. I've been getting feedback, unsolicited feedback saying, John, thank you for hiring me. Thank you for bringing me on board. This is important. And I want to fight this virus with you. The other thing is that we look at transport. We have our own drivers. All right, and more important, and most importantly, we have a, su a su secure supply of product, so that when someone needs something, we can get it there. Case in point, we've had days where 800 actors will end up at set for one screening, and all of a sudden they say we have 900. We have the materials to get there to get it done because it's all about time. When the clock is ticking, we're running and we're going to make it happen. That's great. 
You guys also recently announced that Screen Pro got approval to bid on the NHS London in the UK. Can you please tell us what this bid is and for how it would impact the company if you were to win the bid? Sure. Okay. There are a number of groups that have been pre-approved. Now, I've been working and known as a, on a personal relationship, the gentleman at Anora Medical. I've known them for many years, and I told them what I was doing. They're Sir John, we're in. We want to work together. So we have a joint venture with them, and we're going to be working together on this. And then what, what they're doing is that they registered Screen Pro's products with the NHS, and they're moving forward. So once this tender comes out, we'll be ready to bid, and I'm leaving it in their very capable hands to do it. If they need any information, they need any support, I talk to them two, three times a day, every day. We're working very diligently on this, and when the tender comes out, and if we win it, even just getting a portion of that will have a monumental impact on our revenue run rate going forward, and it'll go directly to the bottom line. And that's Great. what we want to see. So you're not sitting there excited about your $5 million a month. You're growing that number. And that that's Absolutely. exciting for investors to know that, yeah, 5 million a month's great. 60 million a year for a stock saying at 10 cents, kind of unheard of. You don't see that very often, but this is a company that's not happy with 5 million a month. This is a company that's bidding for more revenue and that's exciting for investors. It's important for us here at Rich TV Live to understand the team behind Screen Pro. Can you talk a little bit about your roster and some of the key members that are really helping you grow this business? I think we have to look at the advisors of the group. Now, first of all, I have to thank, again, every frontline worker that works with us. Our drivers, our drivers are up this morning in Vancouver at 4 a.m. getting things going. So these are people who are valued, just committed to making this work. My team, my VPs, my advisors, uh, all very, very key people. Everyone has a, a part to play. Uh, when I call my advisors, such as even this morning, I spoke with uh, Jacob Ripstein, one of the gentlemen who works with our branding. He answers the phone. Hi. He doesn't answer the phone. Hi, John. He answers the phone. What do you need, buddy? This, these are the people that I can count on. These are the people that are coming forward and bringing things to me. And there are other operations that are opening up for us with all these other groups. I believe that having an aviation partner to having doctors, Dr. Gibran Sharif is also on call to answer any of questions because when there's a test, and this is something for the business that gives us our clients' confidence. When there is a test that needs to be reviewed, we have a doctor on call, Dr. Gibran, who'll review and speak directly with the patient and speak directly with the medical team at site so that they know that their staff is safe. That's Everyone great. plays a vital role, everybody. That's great. Now, it's extremely important that we also understand the company's balance sheet. Can you talk a little bit about how much money Screen Pro has in the bank and if you're planning on doing any dilution in the future? And if so, what would that be used for? or any capital raises in the future? Well, right now, well, obviously because of our run rate and because we're new to the market, I will say that we have a number of institutional holders in our company so far, and they've been very open and honest and opening up doors to us around Bay Street. And I've been having conversations with them and they're very impressed with what they're doing. They're, the Bay Street wants to see us perform, showing one month of revenue like that, let's get consistent and do it. But the question is, is what are we doing with the money? We're having the money going back into the business. We're reinvesting in more materials, we're reinvesting in more people. We're building the business, we're making it real every day. Great, that's great. And can you give us a breakdown of the share structure? Here at Rich TV Live, we love tight float stocks, companies that are held very responsibly by management. Can you break down the share structure and how much is held by insiders and potentially institutions, if you know uh, the numbers? Absolutely. Well, when we look at it this way, we have 330 million shares outstanding and 20% is owned by directors and managers. Now there's upwards of another 20% owned by founders. Now these founders are people who are bringing new business with me. So they're in there for the long haul. They're like, John, what do you need? So these are the individuals, the men and women who are around me that are working with us. So we have upwards of 40% in very friendly hands. And when you look at investor, institutional investors, they've said to me quite, quite upfront, we're gonna hold this stock. And if you need us, call us. Wow, okay, great. And do you know what percentage is being held by institutions? Institutions, I can actually give a rundown and I'd be more than happy to share that in another one because you know what? I'll get permission from them first. Okay. I expose their position. I think it's important for them to feel confident and know that their business is their business and they have my support and they have mine. Yeah, that's totally fair. What's the main goal for Screen Pro in 2021 that you want shareholders to know about today before you leave this interview? Well, again, I look forward to our next conversation. And I also will say that for 2021, what we're building on here 
is a model that is sustainable. We've got a run rate of 60 million a year. Now I've talked about business outside of the country, but we also have to look at the business that's expanding within this country. We're getting more opportunities, more referrals, more business. As I said, we just had a feature film be, been delivered to us by one of our main uh, clients. And I can tell you that Vancouver, as I'm sure is your residence, you'll see a lot more productions coming up to the, to the province because of the Canadian US dollar comparables. It's actually more effective for film and television companies to come to Vancouver, this great province, and also across Canada. And by the way, film companies are already asking us to open up operations in Calgary. And wow. so we're reviewing that opportunity right now to see if it's viable, because right now we also have, just so you know, we have productions that are in Montreal. And just for everyone's, you know, to give a top line one more time, we've done 23 productions. They're current. We're working. We have 23 locations running. And that's in Montreal. That's in Ontario. Uh, sorry, Quebec, Ontario, Calgary, Vancouver. And we're able to ship and move our tests to our labs to get it turned around in 24 hour basis. That's a compelling argument for people to sign on with us. So I believe we're going to have further growth within the domestic business. And working with my team of advisors, we're able to expand the global business. So that's what we're working with at Screen Pro. Here at Rich TV Live, we've got investors in over 100 countries that will be watching this interview. What is the best way for them to get in contact with you? Well, they can go to the website, but they can always email me. My name, my contact information is on the uh, press releases. I'm already taking calls from your from your, your viewers right now. And I'd like to say a shout out to all of them. And thank you for your questions and reaching out to me. I'm open to discuss things with them. And I'm open to let people understand what they have because I believe shareholders have a right to know what they own. And I'm more than happy to sit down and talk to them. So if any of your investors want to do that, they can send me an email. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And then we can talk with, uh, and we're also bringing on people who can answer those questions online. So we're working on that, but you know what, for today, let me be the face of the company and let me talk to them directly. Cause if you can't talk to the CEO, what are you talking about? I agree 100%. Thank you so much for your time today, John McMullen, the CEO of Screen Pro Security. Now, everyone that's watching, please do your due diligence, do your research, and consult a financial advisor before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. Do your due diligence and make sure if you like the video, smash the like button, comment on the video, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. So every single time we go live or we have a video or we have breaking news, you get access to it first. John McMullen, the CEO of Screen Pro Security. Thank you for joining us today, John. Thank you very much. And let's just say, as I said, all our clients, test negative, stay positive. Go with Screen Pro. I love that. Thank you for joining us today. I wish you all the best of luck Thank in your you. future endeavors. Myself and our entire community will be watching very, very closely. Once again, a company doing $5 million a month 60 million a year and growing, currently sitting at 10 cents. These are the types of companies we love to position ourselves. Companies that are revenue generating, companies that have a strong management team, growing revenue, going in the right direction with a product that is a need, not a want, especially in a COVID-19 world right now in 2021. I think the upside is tremendous. Thank you for your time. If you guys are not winning, you're not watching. This is Rich from Rich to be Live, and I'm out. Have a nice day, everybody.